Hey everyone. After trial and error, I decided I was going to do a plan with me video today for the week of July 5th to the 11th. And so let's just jump right into it and hope for the best. So what I like to do for my weeklies, and I've been doing for a while now, I always put my work schedules over here on the side and I put my dinners here on the very bottom uh, squares and then I just plan accordingly but this layout has this grid paper so I'm not sure how we're going to do that but I'm going to go ahead and at least put in my dinners And just so everyone knows, I do plan with the pencil because I erase a lot. So, and I know there are pens that erase, but I have always just used a pencil because every time I've used a pen, I've always had to erase it and can't. And so it's just a habit for me. But actually, while I'm filming this, it is actually Thursday the 8th. I'm actually off today and I work the rest of the weekend so I'm going to go ahead and put at least today's dinner was steak, potatoes, and corn and it was amazing and then yesterday I had, which was such a weird, a weird dinner choice, but I had cheese slices, honey ham, and bread and butter pickles. And if no one's ever tried that, you should because it's pretty much like a charcuterie board of the most amazing things all together. So that was last night's dinner. And then we had that. And Monday and Tuesday, I can't remember what we did. So I'll have to look back on that one. A lot of my things I plan out, I always do on my phone on the Day Leo app. I've had it since 2018. It's my go-to. I've had no reason to delete it because it's just, it's been there for, at least for me, for at least 2020. I didn't have any paper planner of any kind. I just used the app. So that's what worked for me. But I wanted to get back into planning, so how do I want to do this? I just don't understand how to use grid paper. I always feel weird having to write on it, but we'll do this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm not a very busy person, and so I normally just put in the basics. So, Monday I was actually off, which was nice because we had a really nice 4th of July, and we were out all night with our friends. Oop. So, let me know down in the comments what you did for 4th of July. We went to a fireworks show in one of our towns across from us and we were right underneath it. It was amazing. And then Tuesday was 10 to 5. Wednesday was 3 to 10 and off. And 3 to 10 tomorrow. 10 to 5 Saturday. 3 to 10 Sunday. So that actually worked out pretty well. So work schedule and dinner schedule. That's my for sure thing I know I always write in. So after that, I put any important thoughts up here. I am one of those people that will write everything in and then decorate. So if, I'm sorry if you're that type that watches all the other ones that are decorate and then they don't do the after a pen. I'm, I have to put my thoughts down first and then decorate my white space because I have a lot because I don't have that most eventful life. So I'm going to go ahead and see 
on my calendar what my most important events were for this week were so let's see My job's actually getting a remodel, so we are all in different spots right now while that's being done. So it's definitely a, uh, it's a learning curve right now. But anyhow, I uh, am ready to see what lies ahead once we get done with our remodel and just how well everything works out and our benefit. So, but it's going to be a whole month worth that we do this. So, it's going to be a thing for sure to get around. Okay. Let's see. Planner Zoom. My theme for my weeks is by a group that I'm in for uh, Texas Planner Babes. Um, we do it a uh, Planner Zoom every Friday, and sometimes I get to go to it like this Friday. I won't get to, but I always do that so maybe I can remember to check in on everybody and uh, see if they're still in there talking because a lot of the girls will talk way longer past than the thing so it's actually really exciting and the themes work out for me because I find out my schedules every uh, Friday or Saturday it all depends on when it goes in and so I have plenty of time to be ready for next week's theme and have my schedule already planned out so Sorry if I'm a little rusty at this, guys. It's a definitely a learning curve for me. I haven't done this in such a long time. And the last one I did officially on my channel was more just journaling in what happened that day. Compared to just putting actual plans in more than journals. So, please bear with me. So, pretty much this is everything. And the top part is mainly the... Uh, main things that are happening and I try to always it's just starting to be a habit with me is I try to do the decorative stuff in the middle and then any extra to do's or anything I put on the bottom so that being said let's go ahead and get into the decorative part so so I got this washi from one of the girls in our group and um, this was on a washi sample that we mailed to each other and this lady, I believe this is from Leslie, if not it's from Stephanie I believe, um, gave me these and I love them and I wanted to try out this one here and then I was going to do, because our challenge for the week, I didn't even say, challenge for the week for this week was to do washi themed challenge, so do your whole spread with washi tape. So I have this washi tape here that's a little heart and I figured I could use that as my little to-dos down here. And then this could be in the middle for decorative purposes. And then I could do today's all the way across. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Actually, I need to go get... Actually, I'll just use this. I was going to say I need my washi cutter, but we'll just use my ruler. So let's go ahead and let's find... The beginning of this washi tape here because this is going to be my focal point for the whole spread but I love these challenges that we do because it really makes you venture out and see what your stash is what you have and really work with it So scared of ripping these up. Oh, we gotta get them off. Okay, this should be plenty long. Oh yeah, this is plenty long for the first bit. 
think I want to get this half in. Oh, that is terribly wrinkled. I think it's wrinkled actually already just being rolled on there. Struggle bus guys, I'm so sorry. Washi tape is not my strong suit, but I love it. So let's go ahead. I'm doing this off camera, sorry guys. Just gonna get it off this washi card first okay now we can get that out of the way and go from here so I think regardless it's going to be wrinkly on here so let's see oh please don't rip my paper okay it just rolls right up since it's been so long on that card let's just see it's just bundled up on it okay we're gonna have to do this first we're going to have to figure out how long I need my piece and then cut from there. Okay. That's not even straight, but whatever. I'm just ready to get this down on the paper. And it's so cooperative. It just goes on so crooked, but it's just gonna have to work like that. Okay, that's not at all how I wanted it, but maybe I can lift it up one more time without ripping the page. Hopefully this washi tape is forgiving. Just stretch it maybe. You'll get the wrinkles out. It's a little bit better. on that side. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see. I do like this, but without the balloon since I ruined them pretty much. Put this down here. It's a fun corner. That's down there. That's right here. And I don't think I even trimmed long enough piece for the other end. And this is what happens when you have washed tape folded for so long. It literally wrapped up on itself and now I can't even get it out.
see if I can even salvage this. It's still cute. It's just very questionable. That's for sure. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I need to go ahead and put the Today Washi up at the top instead. Let's see. I make this cohesive. need to you realize when you do planner stuff that you uh, need planner supplies that you just don't have that would be me with an exacto knife I realize why most planner girls use it so they can get the washi tape that they can't get up when they do that okay well it is what it is so now See if I can salvage a piece. I think what I might do. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work now, does it? I mean, it sort of does, but not really. But technically, we can do. doesn't work out with this but honestly that's as good as it's gonna get so now what I'm gonna do because I'm a crazy person I'm gonna erase all these and write them down a little lower and just put today on each spot to really bring in this blue and then I'll put my little check clicks on the bottom and then we'll come back so give me just a moment and I will fix that alrighty after uh, trial and error we finally got it to work out. We got the little checklist washi down here at the bottom for my to-dos. And to-dos I've already done this week. And then the decorative spot for me. And then my today headers on the top showing what big things happened that need to be done that day. Or just things in general I need to remember. And uh, yeah, so... Sorry it wasn't really a plan with me because there wasn't no really planning, but uh, I hope you enjoy just the same. This is how it turned out, just get you a better look. 
so I like this washi tape I just know I feel like it would have been better with it not being rolled for so long it maybe would have done better for me but you know that's just kind of the things you have I'm grateful that I even have the washi to use it for this week for the washi theme and I just knew I had these today washi tapes that I use and I knew I had these hearts so I used those as a checklist and it, it and all it still came out really good so with that being said I hope you enjoyed and nonetheless I will see you in my next video and have a great night guys stay safe cupcakes bye